Conform Object is a Blender add-on designed to project 3D objects onto others. In its latest release, a new optional feature adds a deformable control lattice, allowing you to push and pull an object around the other object's surface a lot more. Why is this useful? Well, in the past, the add-on has struggled when the object you want to project is either larger than the target object or when you want to wrap an object around another one more fully. By being able to pull the source object around the surface using the lattice, you can use the add-on for a wider variety of applications. Using the lattice does take some getting used to and isn't designed to be a one-click solution and will be only as good as the mesh topology allows. But hopefully by following the instructions in this video, it will make Conform Object an even more useful tool for you. If you have any issues, do not hesitate to contact info at configurate.net and a link to the Conform Object support Discord channel is available in the description where there are others, including me of course, who might be able to help. If you are new to the add-on, I recommend first following the Conform Object overview video, also linked in the description. There is also extensive documentation online. Let's get started with this new feature. Here I have a simple panel pattern that I want to project on top of the head. I've added a subdivision surface modifier set to simple to give it some more geometry for deforming. When the panel is smaller than the top of the head, conform object works fine. I just need to untick the gradient effect to get it to conform nicely. However, if I undo this and scale the panel so that it is larger than the head, and even if I apply the scale and then perform the same operation, I run into problems. This is because the hidden deformation grid that backs the add-on is too large for the target object, so only parts of the grid are wrapped. You can see this by expanding the options panel and in the projection settings enabling grid visibility by clicking the eye icon. However, in this new version, the lattice will allow you to overcome this problem. Next to the grid settings, the latest version has a small lattice icon next to the grid. Clicking on this will add a blender lattice object parented to the grid. You might want to hide the grid again to see it more clearly. We're now going to edit this lattice so that the underlying grid will wrap around the head. Select the lattice, then go to the Data Properties tab for the lattice on the right hand side. Along with the standard lattice properties, there is also a Conform Object section. This gives you some options to help you use the lattice. By default, the lattice is shown in front of every other object, but you can toggle this on and off here. You can also hide the lattice completely if you want. But when editing the lattice, you'll probably want to click the Toggle All Lattice Edit Mode Settings button. This switches on several settings in Blender at once. Firstly, it makes the source object unselectable, so it won't get in the way when you are moving lattice points. The button also activates surface snapping if it isn't on already, so the lattice points will automatically project onto the surface of the target object when you move points. The toggle will also make the snapping mode exclude non-selectable objects, so the lattice won't automatically snap to the source object. All these settings are just optional of course, and you can click them on and off individually if you wish to move the points differently. OK, we can now press Tab to enter edit mode and start moving the control points of the lattice. Switch to Tweak mode on the left side of the viewport so that you can quickly move points. Now, try clicking and dragging one of the lattice points. You should notice that the lattice points will snap to the surface of the target object and in turn move the deformation along the surface. How is this working? Take a moment to look at the underlying deformation grid by clicking Toggle Grid Visibility. You'll see that the lattice has deformed the grid. You can therefore use the lattice to start shaping the object around the surface. You may want to hide the grid whilst you are doing this. Be careful of a few gotchas. 
Blender's display settings do not have a way of showing the opposite sides of the lattice, so you can accidentally snap an opposite side of the lattice by clicking it. You can use Ctrl Z, of course, to undo this. Hopefully though, you'll be able to shape your objects around a lattice a lot more. It will just take a little practice. Here I am slowly working my way around the head to get the lattice to conform by clicking and moving the lattice points. If you need a higher resolution lattice, you can go to the lattice panel on the right hand side when the lattice is selected and change the U or V parameters there. Because the lattice is flat, you won't need to change the W parameter. Now that I have increased the resolution of the lattice, Again, I click and move the points of the lattice to get the object into position. You could make it far more accurate than what I am doing here by more precisely positioning the points, for instance using vertex snapping onto the mesh or by switching off snapping entirely and moving the points independently. You could also try changing the interpolation settings on the lattice for instance, a linear setting on all three U, V and W parameters makes the grid conform exactly to the lattice. It seems best to keep the lattice relatively simple however, as the deformation can get more complex the more points there are. Hopefully this gives you a rough impression and a few ideas about how this feature might be used. When you're happy, Press tab to exit edit mode and reset all the edit mode settings by clicking the toggle all lattice edit mode settings button again. You can also hide the lattice by clicking show lattice in front. This will include the lattice from view inside the object and you can hide it even further by clicking toggle lattice visibility. If you need to get to the lattice object directly, expand the source object in the outliner. Expand the conform object grid and the lattice object will be underneath it. If you want to rerun conform object and keep your lattice deformation, you can click the source object, press shift and then click the lattice and then press shift again to select the target object last. Then rerun conform object and the add-on will use the lattice you have selected as the deformation lattice. And that's about it. We really hope this proves useful and welcome feedback on improving the tool. So do get in touch with me via info at configurate.net and I will see what I can do. Thank you for listening.